Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Alpha and I'm coming to you today to discuss a topic which was raised recently regarding uh, Bethesda's latest game for, that is due to release in November named Fallout 4. Now this particular dilemma that has been raised was by Ben Dutka on PS4 News where he released a very brief article titled Damn it, does any game need to be over 400 hours of content? No, I'm not paraphrasing. That is the title of the article. Now, in this article, he discusses that there is such a thing as too much content in a video game. And I have to admit, my first reaction was, of course, sarcasm. You know, please don't give me so much for my $60, you know. Give me less for my money. But that quickly faded, and after a short amount of time, I started thinking about it a little bit and I decided you know potentially there could be something to this I mean th there actually could be such a, a valid point to is there such a thing as too much content in a video game now I think this might actually boil down to a little bit more uh, his particular concern was more people with lives I put in quotations or people that enjoy being able to complete a game, but don't necessarily want to spend a an insane amount of time in doing so. And he specifically related to the uh, the notion that this is going to be a late fall release, and there means there are so many other video games coming out at the same time that uh, people may wish to have a little bit less content in the game in order to be able to get around to playing other games as well. Now, first off, I do have to address those particular concerns directly to Ben Dutka. Uh, Dutka? Dutka? I hope I'm pronouncing your, pronouncing your name right, sir. Please forgive me if I'm not. Uh, first off, it's not up to a game developer to decide to put less content in their game just so you can go and play some other game. I mean, these are these games, they have a vision and a plan for these games, and it's not a that's not something any video game company would ever consider when they are going through the development process. Because they want you to play their game. They don't want you playing somebody else's. Why would they care about that? But also at the same time, I think a certain amount of this at least for what raised the put, the big question mark for me was Given that Fallout 4 is touted to have 400 plus hours of total content, uh, there are definitely some very valid potential concerns about whether or not the extra content and the side quests and missions are actually worthwhile, or if they are filler content. Now, to give you an idea the difference between worthwhile content and filler content, uh, Skyrim had basically a fairly uh, even mix of filler content and worthwhile content. It did have a great deal of things for you to do in its world, but at the same time, not all of it helped the storyline, not all of it was meaningful, not all of it was really enjoyable, it felt grindy. And uh, then you have a game like Witcher 3, where so much of the side content and everything has meaningful story. It impacts the world you are living in while you're playing that game. And it all is interesting and makes you feel like you want to go through and see what those stories are like and how the story unfolds and how it affects your game overall. And then also you have a game like Dragon Age Inquisition, which was rife with filler content and so many other things that just made the game feel grindy and pointless overall from the majority of the side quests. Now, don't get me wrong, Dragon Age is... Inquisition is a good game. However, I feel that with the grindy nature and the lack of meaningful impact on the game the side quests had, that it kind of fell by the wayside a little bit and actually detracted from the storyline. And that's what filler content really does. It detracts from the overall story, whereas, you know, Skyrim was slightly guilty of it, Inquisition was extremely guilty of it, and Witcher 3 actually did their best 
uh, CD Projekt Red did their best to avoid it, and they did it in a spectacular fashion. I have yet to encounter a side quest that was meaningless, did not impact the overall story, or felt grindy in any way. It all felt interesting and poignant to the story. So there are definitely some concerns over the the quality of the content that is being put into Fallout 4, whether or not it will be meaningful or whether it will be considered filler content, which will actually detract from the overall story. Now, the concern here is because, you know, Bethesda software, they've always done a fairly good job at delivering their overall story. The stories haven't always been the best but they've done a decent job in delivering it in a meaningful and concise way. And they have had quite a few games in the past with several side projects, but take Fallout 3, for example, where you had a fairly large amount of side missions that you could do, and a great deal of them actually had you interacting with characters that you wouldn't otherwise necessarily interact with and it offered you more story in a qualitative way that helped flesh out the world that you were living in and with 400 hours that is a a lot of content it really is i mean witcher 3 if you do all the side all the side quests i believe they uh the developers clock you in at an expected 200 hours worth of content, and Fallout 4 is expected to be twice that. And while that a lot of that is related to the crafting system overall, uh, there is a certain amount of concern, I think rightful concern, whether or not the content will be worthwhile. And so, you know, I decided to leave my sarcasm aside, like I said, and really take a second look at this. And unfortunately, at this point in time, there's really no way of knowing. But if the side quests and content are majority filler, like they were in Dragon Age Inquisition, then this would spell a very, very negative connotation for the game overall. And I think will end up causing a great deal of detractors when the game launches and people see that content is rather pointless and somewhat dull. However, if they take a page out of CD Projekt Red's book in Concern of Witcher 3, then this could be a fantastic game and a huge bargain for the price of $60 with so much valuable and worthwhile content that it can capture and engross you. So this is one of those things where it will be a very careful balancing act, and I'm interested to see what Bethesda can come up with. So, and means the release is uh, November 10th. I suppose it's one of those things where we will have to wait and see. But this is a fairly prevalent issue with open world games in general, of having pointless and meaningless MMO quality content that has no impact whatsoever on the overall story. And I would really hate to see that happen to such a wonderful and much-loved franchise as the Fallout series is. So, Bethesda, we're going to keep our fingers crossed. We're going to keep our hopes up. But I really hope you can deliver, because with that much content, it's going to take a lot of effort to make it interesting. So I'll be keeping my eyes out, and I look forward to seeing what you can come up with come November 10th. Until then... My name is Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time. Hey folks, Sid Alpha here. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you want to check out some other First Impressions videos, feel free to click on the link on the left. If you're interested in staying more up to date with what's happening in the PC gaming community, feel free to click on the link to your right. The subscribe button is down at the bottom. Please show your support and punch that evil thing as hard as you can. And once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.